Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, as you can see by the title and thumbnail, we have bought a new car. Um, this is an ED Civic. Well, clearly it's not new, new to me. Um, and I have picked this thing up for 580 bucks. Um, and this is why. It is an auto carbureted 1.5 liter and um, the old engine overheated and blew its head gasket. So the last dude was midway through um, taking the head off and fixing it um, and then decided that he didn't want to fix it anymore so I chucked it up on marketplace for 700 bucks went around there haggled got him down to 580 and then paid 80 bucks for a tow to my house and now here it is it's got glass headlights which are mint um, the whole front end is pretty good apart from the fenders um, and then we got like a bit of rust back here sitting on steelies um, but yeah, overall pretty good body. It is an automatic, which is a bit of a bummer, um, but I might look to swap it to manual in the future. Um, but as of now, uh, I'm gonna be fixing it up and get it back driving on the roads again. So yeah, let me show you what I got. Just quickly show you the interior here. We have a spare head and the old head. We have uh, the air filter. We have a couple steering wheels. Um, he even gave us a new head gasket, but I'm not even gonna bother fixing that. Um, fixing the current engine because I don't know how badly it was overheated but yeah the interior is pretty clapped in here but um, it'll do the job for 580 bucks you just really cannot go wrong so yeah, I'm excited to uh, be working on a Civic once again and I can't wait So I wanted to just quickly interrupt today's video and show you guys something that I'm super excited to share with you. So um, I have finally gone ahead and made some merchandise for the channel. Um, I know it's not something that you guys asked for, but it's been something that I wanted to do for a long time. Um, but yeah, here's the shirt here. It fits so nice and um, it's super comfortable. I wear this thing absolutely everywhere, as you can tell by all the, all the stains and stuff. Um, I've been working on my car all day. And it, so depending on the way you look at it, Another awesome thing about these t-shirts is that I've only made 30 of them. I've labeled each one from uh, 1 to 30. This one happens to be number 24 and they are absolutely awesome. So if you're thinking about buying a t-shirt and supporting the channel, then you can head on over to the website that has been completely designed by me. I'll leave a link on the screen here and a link in the description that you can go and check out. I'm actually not making much profit at all off them, but it'll be really cool to see uh, you guys out there my supporters wearing uh, and repping the channel. So if you happen to buy one and you're from Wellington, then I will personally deliver it to your doorstep. If not, then it's nationwide delivery. We're also offering worldwide shipping, which is really, really cool. So that means anyone, anywhere in the world can be repping Zero Star Safety. But yeah, that's enough yapping from me. Back to the video, cheers. So you've got the car rolled into the garage here and here is the motor. So overheating and he tried to fix it and he's left it kind of half halfway through the job um, and there's a whole bunch of like cut wiring, cut hoses, all this sort of stuff. So I have to go through and kind of figure out what's what. Um, but some good things about the car, it's got glass headlights, these are mint, like whole front end's pretty pretty straight apart from the fenders, which um, if you're watching this, Matt Pollock, um, thanks for dropping these off. He did me a real good deal on these, these are 70 bucks for the two of them. Uh, they're real clean as well. And um, the same time he also came and dropped this off for me. So this is a automatic D15 carby, exactly what's in here. And the plan is just to uh, swap this in here, real simple. I cannot wait to get wrenching on this thing. I haven't worked on a Civic in so long. I've been itching to get my hands on another project and this is perfect. 500 bucks. Uh, this was 200, oh, 300 bucks for the engine, 70 bucks for the fenders. Like this is gonna be less than a grand running and driving. You guys up on a little time up here, but the time is 3.50 at the moment, or 3.49, you've seen it. Uh, so hopefully I can get this engine out by tonight if nothing causes me too much of a hassle. So when it comes to ripping out your old stinky engine the first job I like to tackle is taking out the axles. So 
So you can see we've got everything disconnected from the engine um, and we've got our engine tilter thing hooked up. Um, and we also have got the axles out, like literally everything's disconnected from the engine. Um, let's quickly check the time. You can see it's 5.49. Um, so what's that, a couple hours? And uh, she's out. So yeah, without further ado, let's uh, take the engine mounts off and lift her out. Due to the engine being practically fully disassembled already, um, there was just really only a few things still keeping the engine in there, and uh, the main one being the mount. So here you can see I'm taking it out uh, in this clip here, and then I'm able to uh, just wiggle the old engine out. As you can see here, I was having a bit of a hard time trying to find the right angle to wiggle the old engine out, but um, using that little leveler tool, I was able to uh, get it upright and then whip her out. And just like that, the blow-in motor is out of the ED Civic. Um, took me a couple of hours. There's um, uh, trans fluid absolutely everywhere. But um, yeah, pretty stoked with that. Uh, it wasn't too hard. Just got to finagle it out at an angle like you saw on the video. But yeah, I'll either chuck this in tonight or I'll definitely put it in by tomorrow. But yeah, pretty exciting actually. Um, now that I've got the hang of this chassis in this car, everything's super easy. Um, once you've done it once, then the next time you do it, it's a lot faster. So I remember the first time I took an engine out of a Civic, it took me a whole couple of days. Um, it even took me a whole day just to crack the axle nuts off and I got the, whipped those off in about two minutes this time. Now that I'm on a bit of a break after I've pulled this engine out, I'm just reflecting on, it's a bit corny, but I absolutely love working on cars. And these, these things are so much fun. Uh, they're so simple so easy to work on and i absolutely love it you can tell like i haven't had food in like four or five hours but because i'm just so excited to work on this thing and i know i said in the clip before that i'll see if i chuck it in tonight or maybe tomorrow i know i'm way too excited about this thing to not chuck it in tonight so best believe i'm gonna go up and have some dinner and i'll be back down here getting my hands dirty again i think we all saw this coming but here i am 30 minutes late after quick break for some dinner, back down in the garage, getting my hands dirty, getting the new engine for the Civic uh, bolted in. Super exciting. So as you can see, it's been an absolutely massive night in the garage. I went up for a quick dinner break and I was so excited to work on this thing that I had to come back down and mount in the new engine. So I just got it mounted on this two side mounts there. And I've also mocked up, I've also got the carburetor in it and take on. Um, I have a bit of fiddling around to do tomorrow in order to get that working. But um, for the most part, she is in there. Um, fingers crossed. I think by tomorrow, if anything goes to plan, I should have this thing driving, which is pretty exciting. So we'll do a quick time check. Um, the time is now 9.18. And the car got delivered to me at 1.30. So um, that means I've pulled the old engine out and swapped the new engine in um, in one afternoon. Uh, as well as had a, quite a few breaks of food. Oh, well, one break for food and that. Um, but yeah, it's been a massive night in the garage and I can't wait to work on it tomorrow. Alrighty, so she's a new day back in the garage working on the Civic and I'm absolutely determined to get this thing started today. So first things first, I went ahead and tackled the wiring, just a few wires for the alternator there, a couple for the starter and a few for the distributor too. These carbureted D-series basically have no wiring at all to them, they're super simple and that's part of the reason why uh, I love them so much. Um, after I did that I then hooked up the fuel lines here in the bottom right corner as you can see and then uh, here I am just putting in the power steering pump as well as the radiator. When it comes to putting your engine back in the car, it's just about connecting everything that has been disconnected or unplugged um, when you took out the engine. Again, super satisfying job. Cars are literally just a big jigsaw and I love working on them. All right, so for the most part, everything in the engine bay is hooked up, apart from the axles. So I think all that's left to do, hook up the axles, fill the gearbox and the engine with oil, and we can see if, the, if this thing starts. So super exciting. As you can see here, we've got the axle back in, as well as all the suspension components. Uh, put the wheel back on and put it back on the ground, which is a massive moment.
I then went ahead and chucked some fresh automatic trans fluid in as well as some fresh engine oil as you just saw and here I am screwing in the old uh, battery tray. Right so we spent the whole Arvo wrenching. I'm pretty sure we have everything buttoned up. We even have it on the ground as you saw. Um, all the axles everything hooked up. We just um, did a put oil in the engine and oil in the trans. Um, now the last thing really is to just go and get some gas and fill it up so it actually can start. So yeah, pretty excited and pretty nervous at the same time actually. So yeah, fingers crossed. So as you can see, we filled it up with some gas and then uh, we tried starting it for the first time. All right, take two. Alright, so as you can see, it starts up for a little bit on the brake clean, um, but then you can't run any after that. So um, that means it's not getting any fuel. So. so I'm pretty sure I found our problem. So this is a spare head that I had, and this is the fuel pump off it. And you can see that when you push it, it sucks in air. Like it pushes in all the way, but I think this one's actually seized. You can't actually push it in all the way. So anyway, I'm going to swap them out and see if that fixes our issue. Basically what this thing is, this connects up to the camshaft in here like this. Um, and this is on like a little lobe. And when that lobe comes all the way this way, it pushes this and basically sucks fuel through here. So this is basically just a mechanical fuel pump that sucks fuel through depending on the engine speed. Okay, so you probably wouldn't be able to tell, but this is the fuel pump that we replaced. Now we can see if she starts. So there she is, she's actually running real good. Um, the thing the old owner disconnected the exhaust, so it's basically straight pipe. Um, like, yeah, so happy about that. So it's currently uh, running without coolant, so uh, we'll quickly turn it off, fill it up with coolant, and then hopefully take it on a drive. So as you can see, we have this whole engine bay fully back together. Um, super satisfying, the fact that I pulled this engine out, uh, I think three days ago now, and new engine's in and running well. Um, now I am having a little bit of problems with the transmission, not really sure what's up there, but uh, let's go try to take it for a drive now. I even topped up the power steering fluid, we got some water in it too, um, but yeah, let's give it a test drive. Alright, coming into the car now, let's go. Oh, fuck, now. Take it for his first drive. 
Um, for some reason, the transmission is doing weird things. So, like, park is like reverse, basically. It's like reversing itself in the park, which is weird. Um, but the power steering seems to be working. Just gonna park it here. See, it's in park and it's bloody reversing. Definitely neutral though. Woo! She's running good. Okay, I'm filming. All right, so here we are taking it on its maiden voyage. Um, it turns out there was a little bit of a loose bolt on the um, transmission casing there for the um, automatic gear shifter. Um, but yeah. She seems to be going all right. Uh, this will be their big test to see whether it's actually good or not. Taking it out to golf, so hopefully it goes good. All right, so as you can see, um, we made it out here to golf and we played a few holes, but the car seems to be running all right. Um, it is idling a little bit high, but that's all right. It drives pretty smooth and it's really relaxing to drive. I'm actually really enjoying it. But um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to call it for today's episode. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Um, subscribe if you want to see some more because um, in the next episode, we're going to be doing a lot of work to make this thing look a whole lot better. We've got new fenders for it. We've got to fix up some rust, all that good stuff. So yeah, see you guys in the next one.